Today, in the fascinating world of deck machinery, English for specific purposes is illuminating ship's deck apparatus. You heard right. We will explain winches, cranes, and anchor systems, and teach you specific jargon and terminology. Subscribe now and join us for an interesting exploration of ship's deck machinery. Ships are designed to fit a certain purpose through a process known as naval architecture. Naval architects and marine engineers work together to design ships that meet specific requirements and fulfill their intended functions. The design process involves considering various factors such as the ship's intended use, operating conditions, cargo capacity, speed, stability and safety. Now, it's the time to complete task 1. It's a few in the blanks exercise and I advise you to listen to the narrator very carefully he's going to read the questions for us and then try to complete the blanks okay let's get started the ship's underscore is an essential factor to determine its design which includes the type of cargo to be carried the number of passengers and compliance with regulatory standards Naval architects analyze the ship's hydrostatic properties and underscore to ensure safe and efficient operations, which involves assessing buoyancy, stability, and resistance to capsizing under different loading conditions. The ship's underscore is a crucial consideration in its design, as it affects its performance and efficiency, and includes factors like resistance, propulsion, and maneuverability. Okay, now let's analyze question number one. In question number one, There are items like cargo, type of cargo to be carried, the number of passengers and complying and swift uh, standards, right? So, the right answer is intended use, okay? Uh, question number two states that the main concern In this case, must be ensure safety and efficiency of operations. So, the right answer to this question is, st is stability. And finally, question number three. There are hints for us, like performance, efficiency, uh, factors like resistance, once this ship is navigating uh, in the water, propulsion, and so on. In this case, the right answer is speed. As follows, we will see some significant ship activities. After you have gone over all the proposed operations, pause the video and look up some simple phrases to define each one. Then, finish test number two. As a result, because this exercise is based on your study, The answers may vary. The answers I prepared are only suggestions. So, as you can see, the first one is let go the anchor, the second one berthing and berthing, and then mooring, heave the anchor, lower lifeboats on the rescue boats, load cargo, unload cargo, dry docking, and so on and so forth. Remember the sequence of this video from its starting point. If you find it necessary, stop the video, rewind it, and check it over again. To successfully carry out all the operations we discussed in task number two, it's necessary 
for each one of them to use the correct item of deck machinery. Mooring operations requires winches. Winches set the tension of mooring lines, cables or chains to secure the ship. The mooring winches stabilize the ship and keep it from drifting. Heaving the anchor requires anchor windlasses. The anchor windlass lifts the anchor and chain from the sea floor and secures them on the ship. This separates the ship from the porter and secures the anchor. Lowering lifeboats and rescue boats requires David systems. Davids with winches or cranes lower lifeboats and rescue boats from the ship to the water. These vessels safely descend using David systems during emergencies and training. Loading cargo requires cranes, conveyors, elevators and so on. These equipment systems move cargo from dock to ship. Cranes load and unload goods, while conveyors or elevators move then about the ship. Unloading cargo requires cargo handling equipment like cranes. These equipment systems safely convey cargo from the ship to the dock or storage locations. Cranes carry goods uh, from the ship's holds to the dock while forklifts transfer and stack them. Dry docking uses docking and gate systems. Dry docks can float or drain to accommodate ship's hull maintenance and repairs. Gate systems control dry dock water levels, allowing ships to enter and exit, and also allowing access to the hull for cleaning, painting, inspection and repair. Ok, let's prepare to the final task, that is to say, task number 3. This time, you have to check your memory, ok? Because only the pictures will be given. But before that, read this text appearing on the screen right now. It's a good training, a good reading training for you uh, to be aware about other types of deck machinery, okay? Okay, thank you very much for watching the video until the end and don't forget to subscribe and leave your like down here. Bye, see you later.